Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Roy Harper, here one more time. And in this video, this is my second content coming out of Ecuador, man. I'm, I was super excited just walking around the city, just getting to know this new country, as you guys saw in the first video of my first impression of Ecuador, specifically Guayaquil. So now we're going to walk to El Malecón. El Malecón is one of the most popular places to visit for all the Equatorians and tourists that visit the country. So it's nighttime because they told me at night is a lot more beautiful than during the day. Because it's so hot during the day that it's hardly anyone there. So I came at night so I could really enjoy the lights and see, you know, more action. So I really hope you guys enjoy this content. I'm just going to walk around the Malecon. I'm also going to take you to the steps so that you actually get to see the steps and everything that has to do with the story. And there's the church all the way on the top. It's 44 steps that you have to walk all the way up. But i give you a little bit more in a minute about the steps and the whole story behind it. For now, let's enjoy our little walk on the Malecon of Guayaquil. It's a super, super nice vibe, man. I really hope you enjoy this vibe because it's really cool. Back to like, okay, there's more people here. Okay, this is more like it. Okay, sir. There's some ladies over here. There's some romance happening. Oh, they got the letters over there. How cool is that? There's a lot of love happening here. This is, I guess this is the love area. Let's see how close we can get to the merry-go-round all the way at the end. These are cool. We deserve, we deserve some photos here. Yeah, we're here. Told you we were coming. We're here, Guayaquil. Let's go. First impression, Guayaquil. So for those of you guys that don't know exactly what a Malecon is, um, a Malecon is a big street or park in some countries. In some countries, it's actually like a park like this, like Peru. It's like a park next to the river. For example, in Dominican Republic, most of the Malecons are next to the ocean and are big streets that actually have cars driving back and forth, like in both sizes. And since the beginning, when they started doing this, um, Malecons, people used to go to these areas because they were next to the water and it was just to refresh themselves with the cool breeze of the ocean or the cool breeze of the river. And then as people started gathering together, people started doing those little small um, shops and small drinking venues and people just go have drinks and stuff like that and entertain themselves with their friends talks and do stuff like that and that's how that's how the malecons were created at the beginning and uh, it got popular and in a lot of spanish countries they do it so again like i said at the beginning this one is basically like a park and it has like kids um it has kids um places to play, kids playgrounds and stuff like that. But in most of the other countries, kids only go on the day until some type of, you know, till like nine or eight or something like that. And then after that, it becomes like rated R because adults go, drink, have fun. That's another way to meet people and stuff like that too. So it becomes like a party at night, which is super cool. This place right here, sweet and coffee, I see them everywhere. This, I guess this is the Starbucks of Ecuador or something like that. Because they everywhere. 
I haven't had anything from them yet. I probably do it before I leave so I could, I mean, give you guys more info about that. But, um, it's a lot of people there, though. Yeah, Oh, it's a little line to get in there too. Oh, that's why, because you could also get on the boats. That's for kids too. That's cute. And then we have another character singing again. This one is actually more romantic. I don't understand why they all sing English songs. They should be singing some bachata, reggaeton, merengue, some shit like that, no? Okay, we're getting closer to the joint. Yeah. Of course. That is going to be a Tianguis here. For people to shop. Souvenirs and stuff like that. I don't ever get souvenirs. I need to get, start getting souvenirs, man. Souvenirs is these videos right here. This is my souvenir. Wow. See, now there's a lot of people here. Okay. Agua, cola, el agua, el agua. Hey. Hey. Okay, guys, we're getting close to the farewell. Yeah. Here we are. I'm not going over there, bro, because I'm not getting on it. But it's a good sight. It's good to see it. It's cool. I don't know how much can you really see from top because it's super dark. So, but there you go. Mary, go around, 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 around. All right, good. We saw it. It's good. That's like a child's play and things like that. We don't want to go there. That's PG-13. We want to see it rated R. So let's go to the stats. What's this right here? Movie theaters. Okay. Oh, I can still see it at night there. The what do you call that? To be honest, it's really cool. The Malecon is cool. It's different. I've never been to a Malecon like this one. I've been to many Malecons in my age, in my days, but never like this one. This is way different. This is more like a park than a Malecon. Normally the Malecon has like the ocean right next to it and, and you could drive through it. Here it's actually like a park next to the river, which is super cool, it's different. I kinda like it like that too. Okay guys, so we got here to the steps. I mean, the only thing I don't like about it is going all the way up and then coming back down. Like I don't mind going up. I wanna take an Uber back down. <laughs> Now I'm playing. Let's go check it out, man. There's not a lot of people going up and down. Everyone is like standing here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's experience this together, guys. Yo, what's up, guys? I really want you guys to really check out my outfit right here. This complete suit for less than $80 less than $80 man just click on my storefront right under my description right below under my description my storefront less than $80 man this is an amazing suit come on man level up your fashion get this suit in any color they have it in multiple colors for less than $80 man 
just click on my storefront right on my description below That's a cool bar right here. All right, guys. So let me give you a little, you know, start history about the steps. The steps are super, super popular. One of the highlights of Guayaquil, right? The steps were named after a president from the 19th century. His name was Diego Navoa Arteta. Diego Novoa Arteta. So you know, these steps are, again, super popular. Along the steps, you're going to find, like, bars, clubs, small shops, people selling this stuff, on the, walking around, there's kids playing. And then towards the top, then you're going to see at the very top, there's a church. There's also a lighthouse. There's a fort as well because they used to use this. This is actually a mount, like, well, a mountain or, you, or a hill going up, and the walk is... You don't, I mean, you don't need to prep for the walk. You don't need to be like super fit, but it does, is tiring. Like I had to stop a couple of times because, you know, especially if you're drinking and stuff like that. So be prepared for that, for the fun. This is a Saturday early, so it's not going to be a lot of open venues. I mean, they're all open. They're just not popping yet. They're not full of people yet. But if you come later at night on a Saturday, you definitely could make this your night life. You can make coming to the steps a night life and have fun and enjoy it. Cause you're gonna see all the little bars and the and the nightclubs like the music popping. And the music is like all reggaeton everywhere. Reggaeton and Spanish music. I know I said it at the beginning, but it's 444 steps. And they all are labeled right here on the corner. So as you go up you're able to see them. Like this is a step 113 and you go up and then you make a left then you make a right and sometimes you think you're done but you still gotta keep going up and up and up and up <laughs> until you get to the top and then once you're on the top it's in a spectacular view of the city you see the whole city and it's amazing you take photos there this it's just a really cool thing to do man so you know make sure that you do that when you come to Guayaquil <laughs> Oh, it's a little mirror door here with like a nice viewpoint here. Oh, this is cool. I like this. This is my kind of scenery here. Oh shit, we just turned and left. And I thought we was done, but we got more to go. One fifty one almost. Oh shit. Every time you think you're done, you got like a lot more to go. And they have bars every corner. It's like houses turn into clubs, houses turn into bars and restaurants. They're making a business out of this. That's the right mindset. Hundred eighty-five. Oh shit. He's getting too long. I think we need a break. We still got that. And then when you get there, I bet you, you gotta make a left. And we keep going. Holy shit. 
There's still a lot more. This is definitely a hike. <laughs> this is definitely a hike. Oh, he's live out here. Hey, hey, hey. La Nisa, la Nicole, mi primera novia de Kindle María y mi primera. Tengo una. Hola mi amor, ¿cómo te va? Quisiera verte y tan lejos que estás. Quiero tocarte en la boca, besarte y tu cuerpo acariciar. There's clubs everywhere. Every test touch is a new bar. Thank you very much. Yes. You like Ecuador? Love it. Yeah. Where you from, my friend? New York. New York. Big city, yeah? Yes. Very nice city. What is the representation of, what does it mean, the, the steps? Four, 444. 444? Yeah. Wow. You look at the, the faro. Okay, so there's a faro over yeah. in the yeah. top. You look at the old city. Wow, good. From the lighthouse. Yeah. Okay, thank you, man. Okay. Good night. Thank you. So we have about a hundred and some change steps to go and then we get to the top that's where the lighthouse is Woo! and according to him you'll be able to see the whole city wow here we go we're getting close 363 we're getting close Supposed to be 400 and change. Oh, it's open. Three hundred and eighty-four. You almost here, guys. Almost. And there's a park here. Oh, my sale. El Fontín de la Santa. So this is the museum. And we need to get some more history on this one because it looks super interesting like the cannons what are they pointing at oh, there's a whole bunch of cannons here oh wow and then it's supposed to be like a ship here but so this is the first half and this is the second half of the ship. The front and the back. Wow. You can see the city, this is amazing. Beautiful view. Look at this. It's a nice view. Okay, so 386, right? And it's supposed to be 400. So we have like 20 steps to go. Oh, it's not 400 because we're in the 400s already. We almost there though. Super close. See, 132. There's a party somewhere down here. Oh, that's a nice building. Four 
444. Boom. We made it, guys. We made it. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. We made it. So we got to the lighthouse. Cannons. And then this is church here. That's cool. You got the whole view here, bro. 360. It's a 360 of the city right here, all the way from here. The church. You can go around. That's the whole view. Wow. There you go, 360 of the city right here. Why There's more here. There's a party here somewhere. What is it? Oh, if they had a bar up there, that'd be fly as hell. It looks like there's a party somewhere down there. But we'll figure that out later when we go out. I got that crazy nightlife for you guys. That's coming. It's blazing hot. <laughs> Blazing hot man, it's coming so This is it We made it It's done, we did it Now we're gonna chill I'm not going all the way to the top, I've seen enough I need some beer, water, something to drink I'm thirsty We're gonna chill like this guy right here This is what we're gonna do now Alright guys, so you saw it here live by Harper INTL. Woo! So now we're on the way down, guys. I mean, I always try to bring you something different, something new. It's not all about the big three. There's a lot more to see in the world in the world. So I mean come experience this man. This is super cool. And we're going down now. Which is the same work that's coming up. All right, guys. So I'm checking off, man. This I think is enough for now. It's your boy Rod Harper, INTL, all day, every day. You know how we do. So do not forget to subscribe. Leave a comment if you have a question. Check me out on, on IG at Rod Harper INTL if you have any other questions that you want to ask that way as well. I mean, do not forget. I do have. My storefront on the description is the link. You just click on it and shop all the stuff that I'll be wearing. The suits, man, for less than $80. You could get all the equipment that I use for when I, come, when I go out traveling and do my content. So any question, anything you'd like to know, just check out on, my, on the description and I got it for you. Uh, also, if you guys want me to do a travel guide for Ecuador, if you not, if you like to get a travel guide for Guayaquil, Ecuador, just leave it on the comments and I will put it together for you guys. You know, where to go dancing, where to go eating, you know, highlights of the city, things to do, beaches to go, people to meet, all the plugs. Just let me know and I will put that together for you guys. Okay? Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr